Hey guys, Ryan here, Ride Tech Marine again. Just wanted to show you today, I uh, just got done my two uh, transducer brackets for the Lives, uh, the Lawrence Live transducers. This one here, as you can see, is a trolling motor bracket, and the other one is a trans bracket, and I'll show you this after this video. Um, so this one here being a little bit different, um, as you can see, it's uh, doing down scan in this position. Um, kind of takes place of the factory down scan bracket that's uh, an auxiliary plastic bracket that screws onto the transducer and then uh, band clamps up onto it and can only do down scan, of course. Uh, then Lowrance also offers their second bracket that is a shaft mount but does not work on a trolling motor like my XX XI5 or most of the other uh, trolling motors that are currently on the market. All these new ones now will uh, allow uh, a shaft mount no problem and uh, definitely some of the older uh, uh, trolling motors too But uh, and I think one of the uh, motor guides. But um, Sorry, the Minn Kota's, but... Uh, yeah, it a uh, little bit different here. So I've actually incorporated both down scan and forward scan into the same transducer. Quick, easy to adjust. And uh, basically, um, there it is right there. I'll give you a shot of this view. Sorry, it's pretty bright out here today and I had to have it on the motor to show you. Um, so basically, pivot point here. And there's this little thumb screw, basically. Undo the thumb screw. Loosen her off a little bit. On the back side, I've actually got a, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Let me go through the front. Up in there, you can see there's an acorn nut to prevent the uh, thumb screw from coming out. That's just going to get uh, uh, fastened on there. That uh, It'll prevent the uh, thumb screw from working its way out. Red Loctite on there will uh, keep that where it has to be. And then this thing screws in and out just like that. So tighten it down. Like that, she's solid, doesn't move. Loosen it off, just like that. It's got the built-in radius there. And then, put it all the way down until the nut of the transducer touches there. And that's the angle she's supposed to be on for forward scan. And uh, tighten her back down. And away you go. So, um, basically, it's all working together there. It's got the grommet in there again, like all my other ones. Nothing's going to get pinched up and around. Wrap it up like your normal trolling motor ones that uh, when we do the auxiliary uh, transducers. And uh, we go uh, get the logo, of course, on there. And uh, all fully TIG welded and uh, laser cut and formed. And uh, yeah, you can adjust it all. Works pretty slick. Um, again, like the normal uh, brackets I've been doing, cut your bands the length there. There's actually this little uh, rubber buttons there that keep you from uh, getting all cut up. They just pull right on. You can see there, that's pretty sharp. If you wanted to trim them down, that's uh, an action waiting to happen there. So you put these little guys on there, and uh, once they get wet and sit in the sun for a couple days, they actually get real hard and uh, they won't come back off. So um, the thumb screw can actually be put onto either side. It all depends which side you want on the trolling motor um, for adjusting, right, left-handed people, whatever. I made it kind of universal. You can switch that around. And uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. Just folds right down, do a front shot. So it goes right down there and uh, should work pretty good. So the uh, benefit of having uh, two brackets all together, you don't have to worry about swapping back and forth. This is all right there and uh, it uh, should work pretty good. Who knows? Maybe even for the newer uh, trolling motors also. Um, whatever guys want to do is uh, the options theirs. But uh, yeah, up, down, um, forward and down scan, everything will work really well there. And uh, that's it. So... That'll be the end of this video, and I will uh, move it over to the transom one here in a couple minutes, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you.